And we're just welcoming you to the online service. Yes. Alright, so you're gonna win some cool prizes that you'll learn more about later. And, um, yeah, it's gonna be cool. Online service. Awesomeness. It's gonna be the best. Like double rainbows across the sky. Better than peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly. Hey guys, it's Yanni. <laughs> And up next is some are some really cool anointed people getting ready to play a song for you. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just in I was just informed that we were having a party next week. It's the ugliest Christmas sweater. Ugly like Derek's face. I have to agree. And um so what's gonna happen? If you win, you're gonna get a prize. And it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a better prize than Derek's face. That's not really a prize, that's more of a punishment, but okay. Peace out. 
My name is Ariana. And I'm Nito. And oh, um, there's a game where you gotta. Well, we're gonna ask you a question, and you have to send your answer through email to uh, phyouth11 at gmail dot com. And um, the question is, how many reindeer does Santa Claus have, and you have to name them. Can we Google it? Yes. Sure. You yeah. may Google it. You may do whatever you want. You just have to email this email, ph, um, yes. <laughs> youth11 at gmail.com. Peace out. Powerhouse, this is Eddie, and um, and I hope you guys have had fun like watching the videos and the craziness that is um, this service. Um, but I want to give you guys a real quick message. I want to say Merry Christmas, um, since that's like a couple days away. Um, I hope you all got my presents. Uh, I'll be waiting for them today at church at seven. Okay, cool. I want um, I'm gonna put right over here. Um, uh, the, the scripture so you don't have to have a Bible but if you want one you can get one um, or if you have an iPhone like me um, you can just pull out your Bible there and that'll be cool um, Carmen doesn't have an iPhone so she can't do that um, but Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6 it says this for unto us a child is born to us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called wonderful counselor mighty God everlasting father the prince of peace but um, but <laughs> but I do want to say um, that while we're into this whole Christmas um, like spirit and and thinking about Christmas, I don't want to forget what um, Christmas is all about. Not just the birth of Christ, but the mission of Christ. you become like Christ, that you become like Christ in that you become a missionary. Um, so I'm not going to preach some lovey-dovey message about the little baby Jesus, um, but instead I want to talk to you just real quick just to tell you that we should become what Christ became, and that is a missionary. Jesus comes, little baby, he grows, he dies and everything, and now um, he charges us to do what he did, to become missionaries um, to the people that are hurting and to the people that are lost. And so um, that's what I want to encourage you to do. I mean, I know you're not in school, and um, but most of you, all of you, um, have friends. Well, Javier, I'm your friend, but you need more friends. And you have these friends, and, and you see them every day, and, um, but I want to encourage you to, to start to think about them and pray for them, um, because a lot of them are lost. And so, um, bigger than Christmas and gifts and whatever is the fact that um, what we should remember about Christmas is that we need to um, be like Christ, and we need to be um, who Christ was, and, and Christ was a missionary. He came from home, he left his home, came down here. Um, to save us, he did that, and then he charges us to do the same and to make disciples. So, I'm here at a school. Actually, I'm at Manchester Middle School, in case you were wondering and couldn't figure it out. Um, I'm here at a school, um, basically to let you know that this is your mission field, okay? Um, this is where um, your work goes on. The people that you're around, uh, those are the people that 
God has put next to you for a reason. And think of it like that. Think of it so that you can start to see yourself as a missionary in a place. Not just when we go on mission trips or, you know, when we go to different places and different churches and stuff like that. But start to see yourself as a missionary at your school. That when you go back to school in about another week and a half. Um, I know it feels longer, but it's not. Um <laughs> Think of it as you're going back to the mission field and you're going to win your friends and pray for your friends. And that's what I would encourage you to do even now. As a matter of fact, um, what I want you to do as soon as this video is over is to, whether you're by yourself or with a group of friends watching it on the computer or whatever, um, pray for some of your friends and start writing their names down and, and, and literally pray for them and pray that God would use you to save them, to open up the door. I want to encourage you guys with that. Um, I know we're not meeting today, and so, um, but I still wanted to get in front of you guys and just to tell you um, and encourage you with that. Um, I pray you really do it. So take this next couple of minutes after this video is done and, and pray for your friends and pray for those that may be lost um, and, and pray for those that, that, are, that are hurting that, that you know. And go back to your schools in January and revolutionize um, your schools and your mission field.